What is the asteroid belt? How did it form? Would it surprise you to learn that the common belief is that the asteroid belt was at one time a planet? What happened to this planet is unclear, but if it was the remnants of an ancient war that involved the Earth and Mars, imagine if the ancient power grid on the Earth was used to project a super weapon at the doomed planet. Perhaps we hit Mars as well with this weapon, creating the Valles Marianas, and thus resulted in the stripping of the atmosphere of Mars. Maybe there was an overload in this apparatus, and it also caused a cataclysmic event here as a result of the sheer amount of power projected. We know this sounds crazy to say the least, guys, but there are the scenarios the powers at B would have you believe you were crazy from even considering this to be true. The point we are trying to make here is that these scenarios are not so far-fetched when you consider the facts. In fact, a scenario closely resembling the one we mentioned seems more logical than the utter nonsense they would expect us to believe just through the power of suggestion. Wait till you hear this. NASA's Curiosity rover found evidence that chemistry in the surface material on Mars contributed dynamically to the makeup of its atmosphere over time. It's another clue that the history of the red planet's atmosphere is more complex and interesting than a simple legacy of loss. The findings come from the rover's Sample Analysis at Mars, or SAM, instrument suite, which studied the gases Xeon and Krypton in Mars's atmosphere. The two gases can be used as tracers to help scientists investigate the evolution and erosion of the Martian atmosphere. A lot of information about Xeon and Krypton in Mars's atmosphere came from analysis of Martian meteorites and measurements made by the Viking mission. Perhaps the Earth has distant ancestors of the Martians and the asteroid belt planet inhabitants who managed to escape to this planet before something destroyed them. Maybe this is the alien presence we see today. This is backed up with the evidence that Mars has high levels of Xeon-129, much more of the Earth's in fact, and this indicates a high level of weapons signature. There is no doubt this is the case. Because of the Xenon. And as I found out when I was investigating this finally, I started out investigating the dark secrets of Mars, and I ended up finding the dark secrets of Earth. Uh, yes, I learned uh, things about the human race that I'd rather not have learned. But Mars has very unique xenon isotopes. They are different than Earth. They are different from Jupiter, from the solar wind coming straight from the sun. They're different from any moon rocks. If you um, grind up meteorites and get the gas out of there, the xenon in there all follows the same pattern that's very similar to Earth, and this is considered the standard solar system mix of xenon that we inherited from the interstellar dust that, that formed the solar system. This, but Mars is so distinctive that you probably wondered, how do they know if a meteorite is from Mars? Well, one way they do it is they sample the xenon in it. If the xenon matches Mars, they know it's from Mars because there is no xenon like it from any other body in the solar system. Here is Mars xenon versus Earth xenon. Earth is in blue. You can see they overlay uh, very well for the isotopes 132, 134, etc. But at 129, Mars has two and a half times more xenon 129 than the Earth does. And by the way, it has this, you could put any other planet up there and it would look the same. Mars is different from every other planet. It has this big load of Xenon 129. And sadly, this is weapon signature. If you match this Xenon to the output of a hydrogen bomb, you get a, a very good match. There is only one place in the solar system where in a planetary atmosphere you find anything like 
the xenon signature of Mars, and that is the part of the U.S. of the atmosphere of the Earth that has changed dramatically since 1945 when we discovered nuclear weapons. The theory here is that there is an alien presence on this Earth. There is us and three other separate alien species who control this place. Our inhabitation is just a front to make it look like we are nothing but an evolving species. The other three species are to do with planet Mars and Zeta Reticuli 1 and 2. Now, this threat is being secretly monitored by the government and they don't know what to do about it. They don't think they can do anything about it. In fact, why? Because these aliens are also considered to be humans. Are we the remnants of a highly advanced culture who in fact are seeding the universe? It's interesting to note that the creator of Star Trek, Gene Roddenberry, envisioned the idea of a progenitor race and went public with it in the form of a TV show. Could Star Trek actually be true storylines from an advanced spacefaring civilization? These types of informative releases could be the method currently and historically being used to get the world used to the idea that aliens, gods, advanced civilizations, whatever you want to call them, they have been around for a long time, like millions of years. Planet Saturn is an interesting place, right? Well, Saturn has a moon that's unlike all its other moons. This one appears to be an artificial moon. The shape of Iapetus has stunned many researchers because it appears to represent the shape that is totally unlike all other known formations. It has a wall around the center of the planet, which is estimated six miles high, going around the entire moon. This is what is being called ancient in your face, archeology span of the solar system. Are we being watched and studied? Have you ever heard about the AI that controls the human race that goes by the name Vallis? Have you ever seen Minority Report or Blade Runner? Of course you have. During 1974, science fiction writer Philip K. Dick experienced a series of strange and exhilarating visions. Dick was being overwhelmed by an intense pink light and believed that it was transferring information to him at blazing download speeds. He is quoted as saying, It seized me entirely, lifted me from the limitations of the space-time matrix. I experienced an envision of my mind by a transcendently rational mind as if I had been insane all my life, and suddenly I had become sane. Even more striking, or ridiculous, depending on your perspective, Dick was convinced that he had experienced an extraordinary epiphany, rich with theological implication. He had encountered God, or something roughly fitting the description, the deity as data overload. Dick started scribbling down jumbled notes and journal entries in an attempt to decipher the wisdom handed on to him and the resulting manuscript, which he called the exegesis, eventually amounted to some 8,000 pages. The books he would later write on the experience are considered some of the greatest books ever written, and he is considered a visionary. He was mysteriously killed in 1982. People claim to remember past lives. I claim to remember a different, very different present life. I know of no one who has ever made this claim before, but I rather suspect that my experience is not unique. What perhaps is unique is the fact that I am willing to talk about it. We are living in a computer programmed reality and the only clue we have to it is when some variable is changed and some alteration in our reality occurs. We would have the overwhelming impression that we were reliving the present, deja vu, perhaps in precisely the same way, hearing the same words, saying the same words, I submit that these impressions are valid and significant. And I will even say this, such an impression is a clue that at some past time point, a variable was changed, reprogrammed as it were, and that because of this, an alternative world branched off. Where this information came to him from is thought to have been from the Black Knight satellite. Oh, in case you are wondering, yes, the Matrix movies were also based on the knowledge Philip received during his download, which was eerily similar to the Rendlesham Forest Incident experience. 
We will leave it at that for the moment, guys, but please stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell icon. We will speak with you guys down in the comments section. And if you like the recent topic of video subject, then let us know below. As always, thank you for watching.